In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your Zoom H4n Pro as an audio input for DaVinci Resolve. To do this, you need a mini USB cable that works together with your Zoom. Now plug in your USB cable and the H4 will start automatically. Now you'll see a menu where you can choose to use the Zoom either as a storage or an audio interface. With the scroll wheel on the side, choose to use it as an audio interface and change the frequency to 48 kilohertz. This is important. You need to choose 48 kilohertz, otherwise Resolve won't be able to save what you've recorded. Now click connect. After a while, the screen will light up and show you the input levels. Now we have Resolve open and in order to be able to record, we need to go to Fairlight, which is the audio editor within Resolve. In Fairlight, we can add an audio track by right clicking and choosing add track and stereo. Now we need to go to the mixer. If the mixer isn't open, you have a button in the upper right corner. We need to expand the mixer and then click on Audio Track 2 and No Input and choose Input. In the window that shows up, we can patch the input channels, the microphone, to the audio track. So we just need to select them and make sure that the correct audio track is selected. Click Patch and then we can close the window. Now it's time to arm the track. We do this by clicking on the R symbol. Now we just need to press the record button and as you see, Resolve is recording. This is actually the same way that I made the voiceover for this video. And when we now press stop, you see that the track is saved. One thing is important here. If you press stop and your track disappears, this means that you've chosen the wrong frequency. You chose 44.1 kHz instead of 48 kHz. Could also be that your Windows settings are wrong. And if this is the case, I will link to another video in the description where you can find out how to solve this problem. I hope this video was useful for you and see you next time.